Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I was putting together some emergency food kits that I could grab and go in an emergency or that I could stockpile like for a week's worth of food at a time. Rather than buying an already prepared emergency food kit or bucket, you can assemble your own. I put basic foods in them that I know that my family will eat foods that are just basic and can nourish you and get you through in any kind of an emergency or hardship situation. I tried to make each bucket a week's worth of food. So if you had to just grab one bucket and go, you could get by until you could figure out what to do next. Whether you're in your home in a snowstorm, you can't get out in a power outage, or if something happens, if you've been watching the news, there have been all kinds of hurricanes, floods, tornadoes. What if you couldn't stay in your home and you needed to have a few things that you could grab and take with you if you needed to evacuate? You could grab one of these buckets. These are buckets I got free at the grocery store. I washed them out and then I loaded them up. I've got the list of contents taped on the front. This bucket has five cans of vegetables, three cans of fruit, a jar of oatmeal. Then I have a jar of pasta roni mixes that I put in a bag. I put the noodles and the sauce mix in a bag and I loaded them in the jar including the directions. These are the ones that do not require any milk. And then I can serve those with the chicken breast. Then I have three bags of rice aroni which are already in the bag with the packet and the directions and those would each be served with a can of beans. Four pasta aroni and three rice aroni. Those get stacked into the bucket including a Ziploc bag with paper plates, napkins, a few spoons and forks and can openers gets loaded in the bucket and the lid is snapped on and it's set aside and have a bucket of food that could last for a week. This bucket has three cans of fruit, three cans of green beans, a jar of oatmeal, two packages of Idahoan potatoes that I could serve with some stag chili, two cans of tamales, two cans of Hormel chili, I bake those together in an easy pantry recipe that my family is willing to eat. Three packages of rice aroni into a jar. Each pack of rice aroni is in its own Ziploc bag. I stuff them in the jar and the directions are down in the jar as well. I can prepare one of those and put it together with one of the cans of beans. And that all goes in one bucket that would be about a week's worth that we could grab and go. The nice thing about putting these all together is you know then which of your cans you need to rotate. Make sure that they all have a long range expiration date and then you can take the bucket and take the food out and replace it all at once. The last thing is to make sure you have a bucket lid wrench. If you close up these buckets they're extremely hard to open and a bucket wrench can slide along the rim. You lift up on it and you'll be able to access your food. Having a bucket lid wrench is just as important as having a can opener. Set some food aside so you'll always have the things you need. Make an emergency food kit for your family. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.